what's good y'all it's boy ross back at again with another video so we're gonna check out john moxley's response to cm punk's comments man and uh apparently he's not liking it <laughs> it, it seems as if we talk more about AEW on the behind the scenes situations and beefs and issues that they have going on behind the scenes rather than what's happening on their weekly television which is honestly not that good to be honest with you we we tend to care about what's happening behind the scenes and what we see uh for the wrestling that's on uh on television so we're gonna see what john moxley had to say he didn't have uh uh too many kind words here <laughs> so we're gonna get right into this one man appreciate all the love and support you guys showing on the channel this is brought to you by the wrestling observer AEW's john moxley on cm punk's comments i don't want to get dragged into this you know what moxley didn't mince words when it came to a uh, uh punk's situation Former AEW World Champion John Moxley spoken about uh, CM Punk's recent comments about their title program last August and how Punk thought Moxley Rocky Three idea for uh, for their uh, for their clashes sucked. <laughs> he also had some thoughts on the backstage drama in AEW. On this week's uh, session with uh, Renee Paquette, uh, Moxley talked about. The Instagram post where Punk claimed Moxley didn't want to lose him. It's effing annoying, Moxley said. Just because someone said some stupid ish on social media, that's not news. But it is, but it is, and become uh, become a thing. I don't want to get dragged into the dumb ish. I could uh, effing unload on a lot of effing people right now. Moxley just don't care. He's letting all the F-bombs and S-bombs drop. But I'm not going to sink to that level. Moxley noted that he was a free agent during the summer uh, to the point where he could have even showed up to WWE SummerSlam with the AEW title if he wanted. That's an interesting situation just, just on its own. The fact that he could have actually walked out showed up to SummerSlam after Roman Reigns had uh, beat Brock Lesnar in that epic uh, last man standing match. You could have heard his music and he walked down there with the AEW championship. That probably, it would have sent the internet, the wrestling community into a stroke. I think everyone would have stroked out. <laughs> I think that would have been one of the craziest things we've ever seen in wrestling. So, uh, it, it's it's crazy to know that could have possibly happened uh potentially he didn't uh resign with the company initially as he wanted to take things slow after just having left rehab and getting that advice i just wanted to ease into uh and see what life was like on the other side moxley said noting aew extended his contract because of the time he spent in rehab which he said he was glad that uh i'm glad they did he talked about the night in which Punk returned right after Moxley and Chris Jericho's match in uh, Minneapolis. I basically don't work there. He continued talking and uh, the time period in which he, uh, which his storyline with Punk took place. For all intents and purposes, I don't even work here. Tony Khan is not my boss. I don't even have to be in uh, in this room. I don't have to do S. So even me being in this room, offering and agreeing to a storyline that puts you over on the pay-per-view, if anything, I'm bending over backwards for Tony and for this dude in the company and everybody. I didn't have to. I didn't have to do S. So that's it. So basically, what he's talking about is pretty much when the match was uh, uh going to happen before their pay-per-view match he's saying i didn't have to do nothing i i really didn't have to do anything for anybody because technically i didn't work there you know saying? i was only doing a favor for tony khan so i didn't have to do anything of the sort but it still always is weird to me because it's like i don't understand why they had the match two weeks before they were going to have the match on pay-per-view I, I to this day that still just didn't make sense um Moxley uh, uh, later added um, that while he was having fun and focusing on the positives in his life, he can't help but wonder why some in AEW complain on social media. I am, an, I am I, as an observer, I've spent eight years in the indies, a couple years in WWE de developmental, eight years in WWE, 
I've never seen so much BS drama in one place in my entire effing life, Moxley said. That's a big thing coming from one of your top guys. I hate to say that, and I don't know if it's uh, because of the age of social media, it's getting blown out of proportion. Like one person posts a drunk tweet and all of a sudden it's all everyone talks about. He is frustrated that instead of talking about things like Kenny Omega and El Hijo, El Hito, I, I'm, I'm probably mispronouncing it. I'm sorry, El Hito del uh, Vikingo. I don't, I don't, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm mispronouncing that. Vikingo or Revolution, they're all talking about controversy. Let me be clear. The vast majority of people there don't cause any problems there, but they're getting sucked down into this edge like everybody else. There's plenty of people who want to get uh better and perform moxley resigned with AEW last year to a five-year contract back uh blackpool combat club are set to face uh dalton castle and the boys on wednesday on uh wednesday's dynamite yeah it's crazy your top guys even commenting on so much of the backstage drama and issues and like i said at the beginning of the video it seems like people care more about the drama and issues and the tweets than the actual wrestling on the show that is a very very crazy thing and honestly it's, it's not a good look i think tony khan really needs to have that sit down with the locker room and and assert who he is he is the boss he is the boss he needs to get a hold on these things the crazy thing is and i know some people want to sit up there and you know they they talk about how uh vince mcmahon was or whatnot the one thing vince mcmahon made sure that everybody was on the same page even if there's some discrepancies you didn't really hear about it too much unless it got leaked out it was always vince mcmahon made sure hey this is how we run in this ship either get with the program or you're gonna have to get out that's just what it was and i i see the same happening with triple h running things in the back like, hey, this is how we're going. You know, you can you can air your grievances, but hey, either you get it together or you won't be seen on TV. Like, Vince McMahon felt like the boss. Triple H feels like the boss. Tony Khan, unfortunately, he doesn't feel like the boss. He feels like he's just, you know, he, he has the money. You know, he's the billionaire. You know what I'm saying? But he doesn't feel like the boss. He feels like... And I hate to say this, he feels like one of the fans. <laughs> he does. He operates. I've never seen someone own a company tweet so much. And there's nothing wrong with tweeting, but Vince very rarely tweeted. Triple H rarely tweets unless it's to promote the show or promote an event. He rarely gets into the trolling because people troll Vince. People troll Triple H. Tri people troll Stephanie. But when you're of that stature, and you own this multi-million, billion dollar company, people expect you to handle yourself accordingly. And Tony Khan, just off social media alone, hasn't been handling himself accordingly and how he addresses trolls and stuff like that and criticism. So I can only imagine what he does when the wrestlers are having issues. Like what happened with the media scrum should not have happened with CM Punk. He should have deaded that, but he didn't. He just let things happen. What happened backstage shouldn't have happened. He should There shouldn't have been no altercation with anybody. Granted, it's wrestling. That does happen. It's always been like that. Don't get it twisted, y'all. Just because it wasn't talked about or there was no social media back in the day. No, people were always having fights with each other. But you rarely heard about it. You hashed it out. You got it through and you moved on. None of this should have happened. What we're seeing and how people are feeling, John Moxley is saying it himself. <laughs> There's a lot of a lot of messy stuff going on behind the scenes that's getting posted that's getting leaked that's getting sent out and now people got to defend themselves and now it's all the drama people care about the drama more than the actual wrestling mjf is your world heavyweight champion no one's really talking about mjf much outside of the great match he had with brian danielson nobody's talking about him much no one's I haven't really seen too much other than, you know, the con, you know, that match. No one's really talking about the guy that they've been trying to build as the guy for the company. But now everyone's talking about the CM Punk thing. Everybody's talking about this John Moxley thing. This is going to be what people care about going into Wednesday. 
and it's part of you know part of the wrestling landscape but if i'm tony khan bro you gotta have you gotta stop being a fan and be a business owner be the boss no more of these outbursts hey if you doing handle your you know what i'm saying if it ain't within your character like don't let's 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 air our grievances in the locker room no more putting out no more leaking it to to certain news reporters news reporters but quotations there's no no more leaking that stuff keep it in the house if i find out you're doing it you're off tv well i'm finding you something you gotta put your foot down because i just think they run over tony khan to be honest with you they run him over people can say and do whatever the hell they want to there's no way vince mcmahon would be cool with your top guy as the champion not being re-signed to a deal yet and he can legitimately walk out there's no way Vince would allow that there's no way Triple H would allow that you're not going to be an interim champion no champion unless you re-sign on that dotted line or we get something going on maybe a temporary contract we got to get something going on the fact that that wasn't even it was just kind of thrown together and it looked like it was thrown together I don't know comment down below let me know how do you guys feel about John Moxley's comments on this whole situation. Do you agree with how he feels? Do you disagree with how he feels? And also, how do y'all feel about Tony Khan as the owner of AEW? Do you feel like he could do a much better job and work on actually, you know, being a better owner? Do you feel like what he's doing right now is great for the business? Let me know down below. But I appreciate all the love and support you guys showing on the channel. Road to 150K, and I am still the undisputed YouTube wrestling channel of the world. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all next one. Peace.